cool. You hear the beautiful piano. The beautiful piano coming in in the background. It's coming. Such a beautiful piano. All right. Hey, listen. This seems appropriate right now, you know? This seems appropriate for me right now to be playing this game because the rain is coming. You know, you hear the, the beautiful piano. I feel like piano is really like rain music. I don't know. That's just me. I feel like when you're, you're listening to a piano in the rain, I feel like that's some really awesome stuff to do. Some really dope stuff to do. But, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get rock and rolling with this Valentine cast. Once again, happy Valentine's Day to everyone. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and get on this Angel Wings game. So, um, I haven't really played it yet. I, if you can see, it says it continue. Like I started at the very beginning and I was like, let me back out of this and actually play this, play this on stream. It seems like a perfect game to play around Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. I apologize. Um, but basically from what I read, I mean, it's one of those like dating games where you make decisions and stuff. So you'll find it's, it's more about isolation or something. And you're trying to remember your memory, something like that. I mean, listen, I'm not going to give it all. Obviously that's what playing the game is for, but, um, Hey, listen, I'm really looking forward to it. Listen, I played a very similar game like this in the past. It wasn't necessarily my cup of tea. Um, but you know, Hey, everything's different for Valentine's day. I just hope they don't have me playing a loser. Like, that's what I would get upset about. Like, normally in this game, you play a loser who doesn't know how to talk to people. And then he just, you know, I feel like that's the route it's going to go. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get rock and roll here. Get started in a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Sunday evening, afternoon. All right. Well, let me go ahead and start the new one. Let's get it going. Let's get it going. All right, all right. First of all, I need you to take the government out there, buddy. It's not my government, but whatever. <coughs> all right, I don't know what name I should be. I'm adding contact as yourself, so I don't know what name I should go by. I don't know if I should go by Stoops, my actual Stupenia's name, or pick an actual name. Hmm. I feel like picking a weird name like Jalen, you know? I'm feeling like a Jalen today. I don't know. Like, uh, it's just going to be weird in the storyline for people to call me Stupinions. But you know what? For the consistency of it, I'm just going to put Stupinions. Let's just be consistent. A skull sung. Look at this. A skull sung. It's a skull sung. Listen, the one the I didn't get far in this game. The one thing I knew is they do knock on brands very well. Like I don't know how that works in terms of lawsuit. I assume it doesn't as long as there's not you know full infringement. As long as things are changed up. But um, a skull sung is hilarious. Like you ain't even trying to hide it at that point. You could have just called it a random phone. You could have called it like a Jokia or something. And you specifically like no. I want everybody to know this is Samsung. Okay, so I got mail clearly clearly male debatable uh phone number i don't believe they'll let you change that just kind of automatically has it in there so we'll go ahead and get started just opinions oh right out the gate right out the gate you get a um a phone call should hit ignore that'll be that take me back to the title screen just ignore it like right off rip loving memories of the years past which we so fondly cherish the piano's gonna get me going now Angel wings. Big up chicken wings sound really good right now. Okay, nice to meet you. You know, not a common hair color, but I see what you're doing. 2021. Who are you? Okay, I have no clue what none of this stuff means. The hermit, those who value the gift of intros introspection. The hierophant, hierophant those who seek comfort of tradition and the world, those who embrace new beginnings. This is really a tough decision because I do value the gift of introspection. Listen, my wife knows like 
when she's out and doing something and I'm by myself, that's the best times I have. Like, I'm just, I'm an introvert. And I like introspection because, intro, you know, I'm not going to get into the intros. Y'all know what introspection means. But um, I'm going to do the world. Those who embrace a new beginning. You know, this looks pretty. These two look kind of dark. If you're going by the images, this one looks, you know, pretty rosy. We'll do the world. Embrace a new beginning. Let's embrace this new beginning of this new video game we're playing. All right. Where to next, white hair chick? Welcome to your story. Stupinions the world. Woo wee! That sounds like a great name of an album. Okay, day one. Okay, that's how you start off? You just in somebody else's room? Woo wee! I'm glad I picked the world. This guy right here. Yeah, this guy. He's something. Where am I? Wherever you are, it looks brand new. Yeah. I hate modern homes with a passion. I've awoken in a place that's nothing like I know. This is no small affordable housing apartment. Oh, clearly. Clearly, this looks like you moved on up like the Jeffersons way early. If this is how I'm starting the game, just moving on up like that, I'm not I'm not mad at all. That's a that's a good deal. Exposed concrete walls match with various touches, polished marbles. Comical OD. Okay, so this is my issue with some of these games. Like, I get why they do it. It's very similar. It's very similar to a novel. They got to describe everything to add more. Because if you're just going straight into the plot points and not giving any descriptions, especially with just images, I get why they do that. Um, I'm not much of a novel person myself, so it kind of gets a little bit uh, tedious reading through all those things. They can never just say the car is there. They got to be like, you know, add extra sauce to it. Small shrub plants adorned. It's an entirely barren sea of white and gray hues. That's just a great word to say, hues. Pretty well decorated. The owner seems to have taste. Well, clearly. I mean, look at the houses next to him. He can't let these other people one-up him. I'm sure they got a statue somewhere in there. This feels more like a computer rendering of a model home. Huh, I see what you did there. Fourth wall break, because that's what this is. What am I doing here? Okay. Same model phone. The Skull Sun. You got the Skull Sun phone. The Skull, the Skull Sun Universe 11. You got a text. Be at Sun Cafe by noon. You can look up the address. You got a date. Calm myself down to speak coherently. Did you get, did you have a long night, buddy? Did you, uh, you know, indulge? Afraid of finding out who's going to pick up. Who is this? How do you know my name? What is Sun Cafe? All right. You're a little bit confused. Pal, you need to get your stuff in order. Like, clearly, some cafe has got to be a coffee shop. Questions, process them. Should I call this number to figure out what's going on? Well, clearly, if you don't know what's going on, buddy, you should probably call the phone number. Who's this? And what is Sun Cafe? My guy doesn't know what a cafe is. This is going to be a long night. Like, you don't know what a cafe is. Hey, you got a job. Well, that's a great question to text somebody. We can talk later. You can call me K. Kai. I don't know how to say it. I'll say K. Find your route on Wi-Fi. I didn't pay for a data plan. Okay, you just right out the gate. She bought you a cell phone? Oh, I like this guy. You know, he he's he's doing pretty well for himself. Just has people buying him phones. All right, go ahead and walk to the cafe, pal. I don't know what you got yourself into. Ask yourself that. Are you going to complain about a free phone plan that somebody bought? Yo, this guy is a loser. Why am I playing a loser? She bought you a phone and you're complaining about the cheapest data plan on G Mobile on the Skosung Universe 11. Whatever. Okay, I see a nice little car there. I won't say nice, looks like a Miata. Small coffee shop. Well, clearly it's called Cafe. Briskly makes the way towards the destination. Cleanliness of the city. Yeah, what city is this? Huh. Sidewalk. That's a nice car. Really nice car. Oh, 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 you said that like you're gonna do Grand Theft Auto. Don't do that. My guy is not a thief. Yes, clearly. Stop getting sidetracked. Go to the cafe and get yourself your frappe mochaccino. And listen, we're not ready to have this conversation right now on stream. 
am I in simulation? You know, that's a deep conversation. You can always figure out which you're in improvement. Clearly, you can. Picking up this phone in the snow. I got questions. Three whole days. You had a wild night, buddy. Small package with my name resting on the counter. Oh, uh, I see what they're doing over here. Look at this. I see what they're doing. Listen, is this my job? I could have worked at Duncan. I'm new here. Cashier, an unremarkable young man in the 20s, nods towards the package. And you find your uniform, a green AP. Hey, a green AP. It's a long day. Green apron with a lady on it. Starbucks. All right. You know, this is your job. Whatever. Clearly, it does. You know. Master the art of brewing coffee. I've discovered the secret to a perfect roast through this cafe. Kiss to the chef. My water grounds. I mean, you're describing making coffee, buddy. You press the brew button. Yeah. Keeps me busy. There's no revelations to be had here. Listen, back when he said the guy was an remarkable young man, like I don't know what this what people describe as remarkable or not. Like I don't know how he came up with that description. My character is clearly very judgy. Think about the infinite possibilities why I'm here in this situation right now. Yeah, you should probably figure it out while you try to get this job going. Considers bad. You've been missed this place from your home and thrown into a job that's probably beneath my ability by a stranger I've never seen or okay. Listen. I hate when people do that. Clearly, you don't even know what your actual job is, so just take whatever work you have. There's nothing beneath your ability when you're broken. Ah, there you go, you answer your own question. There you go. Mindset, that's the positive thinking right there. I appreciate that. People watching, seeing different types of people, their daily routines. I will say this, like I really do appreciate people watching. So this guy, him and I share some, uh, some similarities, so to speak, with the video game character. I'm more interested in a specific customer that's been here since I arrived. A small, very small girl sitting at the counter, face buried in the book. Because once again, where you're at, fake Starbucks that's what you gotta you know it's what you gotta do is you gotta read books long brown hair over the shoulders and trails down to her lower back your eyes are drawn to her white button shirt I bet they are I bet your eyes are drawn to the white button shirt you misogynist listen respect all women bro tied with a black bow hair seems okay nice little description I see what you're doing there Red dark brown eyes student maybe a writer you have a lot of time to think instead of work oh the corona mask okay so this game came out last month the end of last month i appreciate details like that like they're not shooting out of the park you know like they're not pretending that they're call of duty or like one of these major games that people are going to be playing consistently the next few years they're like hey listen we live in the present i i kind of appreciate the whole pandemic thing Daydream about a complete stranger, man. Do your job. Sounds about right. Most beautiful woman I've ever laid eyes on. Even though she's wearing masks, I can tell she is gorgeous. Okay. Voluminous. That's not a word I've ever used. Sleepy eyes, dark as midnight, making unwavering contact. Slim athletic frame is adorned. Wow, this playing with Shakespeare clawing for oxygen <laughs> yo these descriptions are crazy hypnotic gaze back to reality yup there goes gravity 
how can I help you uh, today? That's a simple line, man. You got to get that. That's your first day on the job. An Americano. Okay, that's actually clever. Ciola. Never mind. I'll figure it out. You're gonna you're gonna whiff this one, buddy. You're gonna mess up this day. Wow. Uh, you really you really uh you really did did that really bad. Clearly, like listening is not your strong suit. She's a Ciola, you said Sola. Unless it is Sola. Another girl that pretty stopped by. Man, this guy is low key kind of a loser. Yeah, you do need to figure out why she got you that um uh, Metro PCS plan. Hair bouncing along to the rhythm of the steps. Well, that's pretty uh pretty good description. Same one from the cafe. You know, you were making Americanos, Colombianos, and Frappuccinos. Listen, this guy has the best descriptions I've ever seen. I'll put my hands in my pockets. That'll solve it. Yeah. That'll solve it. Wow. This is pretty good because this is more about social anxiety. Clearly, my guy's not that great at um, just having simple conversations. Conscious effort to look in the other direction. Periodically glancing back to gauge my progress. This is some Shakespearean type explanation of your actions. What is the unthinkable? Okay, I've seen enough romance movies to see where this is going. Really? She's running away from you? Yeah, you probably should. If you're having a woman run away from you on the first day, you remember yourself, that's not good. That describes me right there. Okay, we're very similar. That describes me 100%. Well, sure, you got more embarrassing moments that you can't remember with your short term memory loss. Wow, so you stalked her. My guy is a stalker. Looks at you with an expression of disgust. <laughs> this is getting good. Because I made my first decision. I wish my first decision was stay. Stop trying to run after people. What do you think you're doing? Well, what are you doing? You don't have your mask on, buddy. Called it. Called it. My guy is going straight stalker. I'm gonna grab my collar with no mask on. Clearly, you don't care about the pandemic. What? The other. Yep. Called. There you go. Mildly amused expression. The mildly amused part is the fact that uh, my guys start stalking people on day one. Your savior. So clearly the first part of this game, I realized this guy is not really good in social situations. So it's going to make things a lot awkward for him. You don't need to apologize. I was stalking you. Comfortable grimace. 
her roommates? How does this guy not remember any of this? So you got a lot of roommates and you don't know what's going on. Reflects the sunlight and radiates like someone applied a massive Instagram filter to the world. Okay, Romeo. I just don't say she has a cat-like appearance to her since you're socially awkward. That would be terrible. Surreal presence. Feels warm. Hello. Yeah, clearly. And laughs nervously. Okay, hopefully you're not involved with this. Mr. Stupinions, okay. Well, you did chase some girls to their house, so yeah. Good question. Ah, oh, socially awkward, just let it pass, man. Okay, that's not that's not good. And then you passed out after that. Clearly it is. Cuz you don't remember where you live, doofus. Much of a Okay, what happened to your home, man? Eh? Yeah, exactly what I'm asking. Whoa. Ho ho. Oh man, he might he might relate to me actually. You know, hey, I'm I'm from Detroit, Michigan. My childhood home got turned into rubble after it got burned down. Hey, me and this guy, we you know, we got some similarities, do opinions. I see what you're doing there, bud. Oh god. Why do you ask the obvious? You have a phone, don't you? Yeah, look it up on your skull son. That's what you should do. Entire complex burned down the same day, March 3rd. Oh, okay, so that makes sense why you passed out then. I mean, you don't even know you, so maybe you might lie to him. Oh, man, this guy, we are on the same page. We, hey, listen, we are two peas of a pod right now. How did three days pass? Now I'm here. What even is this place? Well, clearly it's an apartment. Good question. Sad music is going to get me going now. The home just got burned down. Clearly not. Oh, you're going to lie. Wow, this is just bombshell after bombshell. I would never... How do you suddenly remember everything? No job, no relationships. Hey, she put that out there. She's she's speaking it in existence. I could probably count on a number of friends on one hand. This guy is a loser. He's a loser. I'm a loser. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. You just called me a loser. You told my family died, my house is gone, and you called me a loser. There's no fresh start. You tell her. She is all up in my business.
I mean, I would hope so. It's too late. <laughs> Way to throw that one in there. I see really what the real reason is. Hey, was Starbucks. What do you expect? Good for you, man. Good for you standing up for yourself. Because she basically said, your family died. You lost your home. I only got you here as a favor, and I need money. It's basically how that whole conversation went. Good for you standing up for yourself. looking like there illuminated by the in the moonlight tranquility okay probably good but that wouldn't be a smart idea you pass out in the snow How does this guy know everything now? I don't... I don't understand how he just knows everything suddenly. The eternal summer. Chasing you? Okay, listen, that music hit right on the right spot. Look at that. Hey, you basically told me my family died and you want money from me. Listen, kick rocks, lady. Clearly. asking that and you do whoa buddy courage freedom love that's a tough one um i think everybody desires love but this guy is clearly a loser you know, he clearly just stalked some girls to some apartments, ran out because he didn't like what somebody was telling him, and then kept asking her if she was dumb. This dude is a loser. So even if I say love, I feel like he's going to end up messing that up. Freedom. Listen, we all got freedom. We're in America, right? Freedom. But I feel like courage is right at more his alley. You know, like courage, the courage to stop doing dumb things, the courage to do the right things, the courage to step up. This is a tough, tough decision. Um, I kind of want to say courage and just kind of go from there. You need some courage, man. Yeah, you need some courage because you are a straight loser. You were just eyeballing everybody at a, at a cafe. You chased and stalked some girls home. You ran out because you didn't. Yeah, you need you need courage. You need you need courage and you need a lot to drink is what you need because clearly. You know, you can't spell loser without your name.
buddy. And I'm actually, I'm really upset now knowing this person's personality that I tied my name to it. Like, what's your desire? Stupid opinions. Listen, I had nothing to do with this guy. I don't know who this guy is, but he needs courage. What are you going to do? Take my mortgage money each month? You're going to rob me blind is what you're going to do. Casual. Oh, you just, you just, uh, Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Stu Pinions. Get down with the Stoop Troops. Be sure to like the video, subscribe, and definitely share. And stay tuned for the next version of it and the extended for the next episode because uh, things are going to get a little bit fun when you get down with the Stoop Troop. Let's go.